Everyone's not perfect. Even Justin Bieber needs some editing. Well, a lot of editing. But you can edit your tracks in Track Editor. Okay, we're going to look at some basic editing tools within the next couple of videos. And we're going to go through each tool one at a time. And we're going to use a, a scratch guitar track that I had recorded earlier. And we're going to fix it up. We're going to pick out the best part from it and then we're gonna loop it and make it into an um, actual structure of part of a song, such as a verse. Okay, so first I'm gonna zoom in because we're kind of far, far away. We can zoom in a little bit. Okay, now I can see the numbers a little better as far as the measure. It's always good to know where you're at within a song, seeing the measures and beats and whatnot. Okay, now earlier I believe this is the, the starting point of the good part of the track where I didn't mess up. And let's go ahead and find that ending point where, uh, where it was a, an entire take of a, of a good cycle. Okay, okay, as you can see, I messed up right there. But if you watch, what you wanna do is you wanna watch as the song is playing or the track is playing. You wanna notice where your measures are. So I started at 16 and that was a good start. And if you noticed all the way until 24, that was the end of the cycle and it was a good cycle. So what I can do is I can go to 16 and cut, make a cut in the audio track and then go to 24 and make another cut. Now, by making cuts in GarageBand, they're actually called splits. So one way of going about that is place the play marker where you want to cut or split your track. Then go up to the edit button and you go down to split. Or you can use Apple T or command T. So I'm just going to hit split and as you see the two audio regions have split. The colors um, make a difference. See this darker one versus this grayed out one? The darker one means this is the audio region that I have selected. So if I wanted to delete it or get rid of it, I can just hit delete, boom, and it goes away. And then once I click on this, it's highlighted and that's the one I'm working on. So then I can just slide over to 24 